What's up, YouTube? Your dude Sly here, and welcome to Starfield. Now, this is my first video of Starfield in years. With such a long drought between the announcement back in 2018 to this week's announcements, there really hasn't been that much to go on. But we finally have some news to ponder over, and hopefully there is much, much more to come. On top of the awesome launch date trailer shown here in the background, Bethesda also dropped another Starfield video just this morning on June 14th, and with it, a few awesome concept art pictures of various places that we might see in game. It also gives you a really good feel of how the game is going to look. Now I'm currently gathering all the information I can find about Starfield in a What is Starfield video which is being created as we speak, but in this vid let's dive into these concept art pictures and talk about the surprise release of this video which I think is one of a set of videos and they're called Constellation Logs. First and foremost, I would definitely watch the video for yourselves. The link is down below in the description box, so go ahead, pause this video, watch that bad boy, and then pop back on over here. So with that, let's get this bad boy started. First off, the watch. In Starfield, the character you play will be an explorer with a company or group called Constellation. Now, the, the last, basically the last group of explorers on Earth. According to Todd Howard, this game will be grounded in as much reality as possible. Every time you look at something or some place, some gadget, you'll ask yourself, would this be possible in a few hundred years from now? The answer should be yes. The word NASA Punk is now being thrown around a lot here recently, taking the tech we have now today, giving it a few hundred years facelift, and then boom, there you go. One thing that's been popping up over the past few videos, though, is this watch. The Explorer's watch, to be more precise. Each Constellation Explorer gets one, and here you can see it in the launch date trailer, well, at least the case. And through the UK's Telegraph newspaper article, we were given a look at the back, but now we get to see it IRL. Quite some time ago, a few leaked images made their way onto Reddit, and I'm assuming that this one right here is a readout from the watch itself in-game. Now, what else does this thing do? Well, that's part of the game. Again, via the Telegraph article, Todd Howard wants us to explore everything. What does this thing do? How does it work? What are the other features? Can you upgrade it? Seeing as this piece right here is the first real look into Starfield we've ever had, this watch must be central to the game. And seeing how it has a real-life counterpart, I suspect the Collector's Edition version will be made available as well. Alright, so moving on, we get our first real piece of concept art right here, a ship with some kind of repair bot down below it. You'll also remember that in the trailer, we saw a mech roaming around as well. Don't know if this is just some automated mech that's going to be in the game or on a specific planet, or if this is something we actually get to use, you know, in the game itself. However, one thing you'll note about this picture is that this ship looks different than the one in the launch date trailer. So I have a feeling that the Bethesda DNA Todd Howard talked about will be present into shipbuilding. I think upgrading and building will be a huge part of this game. Not just ships, but outposts, perhaps spaceports, things like that. Now this is of course complete speculation on my part, but that's really the feeling I'm getting. Our next piece of concept art comes by way of our character stumbling onto a hot spring with alien life surrounding it. Now, alien life will be present in the game, and again, that's been confirmed. Whether or not it will be intelligent life, that is yet to be determined. However, it's cool to get a glimpse of an early version of alien life here in this art piece. Starfield has been swimming around in the brain of Todd Howard for years, 25 years to be precise, and he said it wasn't until recently that consoles and PCs, technology or gaming technology in general, it wasn't until this day and age that it could help deliver and keep up and build the game that he wanted to build. There was always something he had to cut or always something that had to be downgraded. It wasn't until now that it was possible to build the game that he saw from start to finish. And you can see here that using photogrammetry and real life geological scans, has helped the Starfield team create the alien worlds we're going to see in-game. Next, we see two planets and a moon orbiting close to one another with a ship breaching the atmosphere of the closest one. It shows that not all planets will be home to massive cities and sapient races, but space really is interesting because time kind of becomes irrelevant, right? Something left alone orbiting a planet or left on the surface will still be there millions of years later. You know, undisturbed ruins, forgotten civilizations, perhaps humanity has already reached the stars, and one ship crash landed on a small place called Earth. A species starting over that has forgotten its roots. There are so many possibilities in space, and that's why a game like this intrigues me so much. Anyway, just a concept art picture, but I thought it was really cool to kind of speculate on. 
The next few concept art drawings show what cities could look like in game. They have a very futuristic, you know, working with nature kind of look to them. Most cities on Earth, you know, destroy swamplands, level thousands of acres of forest, dam up rivers, blow up mountains, and then build on top of level rubble. Well, the images here show a more sophisticated approach to city building. But this one here also has me intrigued, right? Underground? Mining, perhaps? Passageways? Hidden loot? Will there be mining in-game? Will it be kind of a looter shooter, you know, RPG crossover? Will there be some kind of resource management? Or is this just simply about exploration, period? Moving on to the next concept art picture this video shows off, and this one here to me really shows off that realistic approach Todd Howard is shooting for. You know, it's a ship not made in orbit by drones, but by humans with tools, cranes, and elbow grease. This wouldn't be a picture, you know, out of place at SpaceX or Boeing, Airbus, etc. Next up, we see a front of a much larger city, but at the same time, the ship in front of it much smaller and also the player has a lot lighter gear on, only really a helmet with some kind of breather backpack. You can see smaller ships buzzing around the picture in what looks like a celebration of some sort. So this to me looks like some planets will be more Earth-like with large settlements scattered over distances, and instead of a spaceship, you only really need kind of like a planetary ship to get you from one place to place inside the planet itself. I'm really curious to find out if we have some kind of base of operations, or a space station, or if we're based out of like an office inside a huge city, something like that. Or if our ship is the base of operations. It could be that what we're seeing here is just like kind of a pod, or a, a shuttle in a way. We park our ship up in orbit, take our shuttle down to the land. We don't really know yet, that's why I like concept art pictures, because they kind of, you know, strike the imagination in so many different ways. Alright, so next up we have a jungle world and it's mega stage. Large plants and trees. Once again, our character has a different setup here than in the last picture. We have a much thicker suit and helmet set up for this world. Now this one here so far is my favorite. Built over an ocean, unassumingly a water world, you can see boats and ships with a huge floating city wrapped in some kind of shield. And finally, we move on to the cityscape, a high altitude settlement. Again, while it has a modern touch, it's not something that would really look out of place on a future Earth somewhere in the Himalayas. As the video continues, we see a little bit about the gear of our character. Like I mentioned, it seems that some worlds only need light protection, such as a helmet with a breather, while others need head-to-toe protection from the various temperatures, you know, the vacuum of space, deadly atmospheric conditions and gas, stuff like that. These drawings show different setups of gear, and if you look closely at these early kind of drawings, you can start to see a particular type of uniform start to reveal itself. So with uniforms, that means there's rank, and with rank, that kind of leans more towards a militaristic kind of group, right? Are they mercenaries? Is constellation exploration only? A bit of both? Either way, one thing that does stand out is the style. This kind of gear or like look would be right at home inside a Fallout game, no doubt about it. So this is definitely Bethesda through and through. Now it's not a long video, but definitely worth a closer look as concept art is always something noteworthy. But that's about it, y'all. Just a quick video outlining the latest Starfield video, and be on the lookout for more of these called Constellation Logs, which will be uploaded to Starfield's Twitter and Bethesda's YouTube channel. But as always, you can be sure I'll be breaking it down here on my channel, Sly Nation, as well. I've been looking forward to Starfield for a couple of years now, and I am so excited that it is finally time to start learning about it. But anyways, that's it for me, y'all. Thank you so much for watching and for supporting Sly Nation. Keep it here as we'll have plenty more to talk about as E3 continues and as Starfield starts to open up. If you're new to my channel, then welcome friends, subscribe for plenty more gaming vids and breakdown videos as we are just getting started. Spank the thumbs up or down if you liked, loved, or hated this video, and if you wish to get in touch, business or otherwise, SlyNationGaming67 at gmail.com or feel free to check me out over on the socials at Sly underscore Nation on Twitter, SlyNationGaming on Facebook. Take care, y'all, and keep those eyes open for more Starfield videos coming out here soon. But until then, this is your dude Sly, and I'll see you all in the next one.